Porsche pace car leads away the top three Porsches on the grid. It's Gold Racing Team for the first time this season locking out the front row. And we are away for 25 minutes of racing for race one at Suzuka. And the drivers into single file at the front. In fact, no change in the top 10 so far. Lee just playing his car in the middle of the circuit trying to protect fourth place at the moment. A couple of Indy Autosports drivers in 10th and 11th, fourth and Adrian says Order trying to gain back a place right now. Then Seikenberg making a small mistake. Is that Matteo going Costa? They make contact and Horda spins around and that's going to be right into the middle of the circuit. And that's a few cars straight away wrecked in this event. And one of them was Tom Stevens as well, which is massive for the amateur championship order getting involved in that one as well. And Max Wolf also taking evasive action straight away. James Saltz as well, he just starts it outside the top 10. Because that could be big for the championship. Oh, off is Edwards from first position. He's made a mistake into turn one. You've got to drive it in so deep. Try to really keep the downforce levels high in these GTE cars. And he's just gone in too deep, seemingly. Just gets it onto the uh, Astro turf and did well not to spin. And that hands, it hands the, uh, the lead over to make Vita Kopsica. That's such a shame for him, wasn't it? Like he, he would be done a defensive work, as you said just before. You know, uh, when you're when you're attacking someone, you have to be careful of the car behind. Oh, oh who's that round? How? how all round? Edwards base low in front of him. Oh no, is there going to be contact here? And there is, yeah. Well, there's there was so much room as well. As we're coming to the Casio Triangle for the last time, McMahon will go for one last effort. It's not going to happen for him. Good defence from Vysokovska. He waited for the mistake from Edwards. And he has capitalised it. It's going to be a second race win of the season. It's second race one in a row. And it's two races in Japan for Make Vysokovska. Race one winner at Suzuka. Anyway, uh, Kevin Kitzelman uh, at the moment at the front. But he's not the pole sitter. Aaron Powell is the pole sitter. There he goes. Oh, that's really going to be a massive check out. Kevin Kitzelman really just mistiming that launch. And Aaron Powell launches away from the pole position. Kitzelman drops from second down to fourth immediately, uh, uh, second down to sixth immediately, and will drop much further down than that. I assume so. Full start as well for Daniel Lee. Oh, way off the circuit for Matty Chambers. Uh, yeah, Atkinson was matching the race leaders for pace in race one at time. And he's uh, doing well again. Here comes Eipenberg, though. Down the inside in the BMW. Mars just trying to take advantage of this. They're ever so slow. But really enjoying them from Tom McMahon to find a gap. But the uh, H2M Engineering and Indy Autosports White Bay closer together for fourth place in, uh, in the team's championship. Uh, as here comes McMahon down the inside of Eipenberg. And he has got it done into Spoon. Battles in the first couple of rounds of the championship. It looked like they were going to be the two favourites for the season. Ivanberg has a part of the season and he's got a really good overspeed. He'll go round the outside. He's going to be way off the circuit, Ivanberg. He's onto the gravel. But has he been able to stay ahead? McMahon to the outside. He'll have to go the long way round. Ivanberg closes the door. They make contact. They might make contact again. But Ivanberg stays ahead. The BMW puts his car in the middle of the circuit. It's a wide cut, and he's all right at the moment. But McMahon, once again on the turn, it's a very wide hit, uh, very wide uh, uh, pit straight here. And it's kind of a little bit too much for Eipenberg to cover off. But again, he's got that straight line speed. And Eipenberg just starting to open up the gap again. McMahon's got part of his car alongside there, down the inside into turn one. And I think that will be it this time. Eipenberg just needs to be careful of what happens behind him. And McMahon is finally ahead. Um, contenders, you know, right up there is Visa Kopska. And uh, you're not going to go defensive against him. So, yeah, confidence from Humphrey. Although, I think down into turn one. Oh, Tom oh. McMahon's now taking the lead. Half way points in this race, too. Takes the lead of the event. And it was a mistake from Powell. Just runs a little bit wide. We saw it similar in race one with Edwards. And just the pressure telling for Aaron Powell. I, I have to, to be brutally honest there, and I kind of feel that that was, that was on Visa Kopsica. Oh, Powell. Was... Oh, Salt's made a, 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 McMahon's made a mistake. Uh, oh, oh, and McMahon's off the circuit. Oh, this is no way to end the season. 
He has won the title already at Okayama. He drove brilliantly. And he's had a, an issue, clearly hardware issue. Something happening in the real life. What a shame. Not the ability to. Oh, Eifenberg. Oh, he's going to have to go defensive here. Get right to the inside of the circuit. Here comes Eifenberg. He lifts out of it. <laughs> so close to making contact. And they're alongside. 33 minutes into the race. Eifenberg will go for his line. Strike one. Strike two potentially, although he does keep it within the track limits this time. Down the inside goes the BMW. Has it got it done? It seems like he has. Uh, maybe two more laps to go. No, three more laps to go at the conclusion of this one. Hal does gain a little bit down the straight. You can see Agenson's well and truly with them now. One and a half seconds. Oh, a mistake from Powell. And Lee moves up into second place. Barely any time being gained whatsoever. Agenson's going for the podium in the background. But it's one more corner coming up for Dennis Eipenberg. Lee just tries to put him offline. Eipenberg ever so slow on the inside. Lee will close to the gap really tight. But it will be Dennis Eipenberg on his return. will take his second race victory of the season right at the end of the championship. Eipenberg wins at Suzuka. Race two is his. The final race win of the season is his. Lee pushed him to the limit. Powell finishes in third. And Adjinson finishes in a fantastic fourth place. The joint best result for an amateur driver all season. Thanks for tuning in for this season. It's been uh, fantastic fun to uh, broadcast it all. Uh, so yeah, thanks uh, to you for uh, for tuning in. Thanks uh, to the drivers as well for playing on such a, a fantastic show. It's been an awesome series to cover. Thanks to Adam Hedgecock and Sam Kumo, Alex Simpson and Andrew Woodhouse as well for helping out on the uh, on on the broadcast. And we will see you back uh, very soon. But for me, Sam Fitzpatrick, for Madam Hedgecock, and from Sam Kuhn, we're going to say goodbye. It's Tom McMahon taking the Pro Championship. It's Kev Copeland taking the Amateur. And it's Ivo SR taking the teams. We'll see you back very soon for Season 3. See you then.